Hey there, would you like to learn how to create a success plan for 2019 and beyond? The exact plan that will allow you to achieve everything that you want to achieve, make money in your business, build a successful business without compromising on the very things that you hold dear. Well, stay tuned because that's exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. Hey there, welcome back. I'm Pamela Bassa. I'm the founder of The Lucrative Lady and The Lucrative Business Academy. And I'm incredibly excited to be sharing with this with you. Now, welcome to 2019. I'm not quite sure when you get to catch this video, but whenever you do, this video will help you to create your success plan for 2019 and beyond. The greatest thing I want to share with you is that in making changes in my business and in making changes in your business, one of the most important things you have to create if you want to create a success plan is actually to create a well-being plan. Here's the thing, what good is it to make all this money in your business, to make the six and seven and eight figures and nine figures and whatever you want to do in your business, what good is it if you are unable to actually take a step back and enjoy that with the people you love the most. But I want to share with you five things that have really, really changed um, our lives and that we are all working on and I really think that you need in your business. Now, in creating your well-being plan, you need these five things. The first is you need to have a plan for when you will get off the horse and sleep. Now, it's very easy as an entrepreneur to be running, 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 running and, you know, making it on four hours sleep, sometimes three hours sleep and all of those things. And even when you're sleeping, you are planning your day for the following day. You're thinking about your very long to do list and you're still adding more onto that list. Why? Because we are so focused on what other people are doing, what's going on on social media. We are so focused on building the dream that we forget to actually put a plan together for how we will make that dream happen. Now the key to doing that is actually to learn to take a step back and to look after you. So sleep is number one. Now the second thing I want to share with you is the food you eat. That's number two, eating, your eating habits. Now one of the most dangerous parts about being an entrepreneur is that time runs out. Do you ever wake up and think to yourself, my goodness, where has time gone? And you look back at the things you've achieved and even though you've done a lot, it doesn't feel that way because you had so much to do on your plate in the first place. And one of the things we tend to sacrifice the most when you're running a business and you are, you know, the heart of your business is you sacrifice actually eating good food and you're grabbing and going and you're drinking and going and you don't even have the time to just sit down and enjoy a meal. I know because that used to be me. But here's the kicker. If you just work smarter, you will achieve everything that you want to achieve in your business and still have your personal life and your loved ones and those key relationships that matter still intact. Now, number three is, of course, you guessed it, exercise. Yes. Now, I don't know about you, but every time I work out, I just feel, I feel so happy. I feel so good. Not only because, you know, I've had children and yes, I do need to work out because I, I actually enjoy working out, but exercising releases endorphins inside you. And you know, that's what makes you happy. That's what gives you that spirit to keep running and to keep going. So number four is taking time out of your business. Now, I made a commitment to myself last year that I wouldn't work on Fridays. Now, I've made a further commitment to myself that I not only will I, will I not, work on, not work on Fridays, but I won't be working at the weekends and I won't be working on the evenings. Now, that leaves very little time for my business. But the key to doing that is to understand that unless I look after me, unless I become selfish, and prioritize me, just take a step back, that will not happen. So, I kind of like being selfish. If that's what selfish looks like, if it means that I get to spend more time with my family, more time with my loved ones, then so be it. And you need to get to that place where you are able to park a business to the shelf, park everything to the shelf and say, I am having some me time and it is non-negotiable. 
And now I come to my final point, point number five. If you want to create your success plan and your well-being is at the heart of it, one of the key things you want to do in your business is to make sure that you have systems, processes, softwares running your business with you. Now, a lot of the things that happen in this online space and when you're an entrepreneur, especially if you're a coach or a consultant, is that we are working, you know, we are working by the hour. In fact, we are working by the minute, you know. You're constantly posting on social media. You're trying to book people on a call. You have to get on the call with them. There's a lot that involves you. And at the end of the day, even if you do hit those, that, those figures, let's say you hit six figures, when you figure out how long you've actually worked in your business, You've probably been working at eight pounds per hour. When you look back at all of the time, the work that you have put in your business, you were probably better off getting a job. You'd be paid more and you'd be clocking out at 5 p.m. Now that's tough because it's the truth. Now how do we turn that around? One of the things that has allowed me to be able to do that is because I have sales funnels running my business and systems I'm running my business and all of these things happening, automation happening and add everything on autopilot so that whether I'm here or I'm over there, you know, at the other part of the world, that business is still running and my team are still at work. So I want to ask you a really, really difficult question. What is your success plan for 2019 and beyond? What is your well-being plan? How are you going to make sure that you are still going to be here next year, in 10 years, 20, 30, 40, 50 years? How are you making sure that these things that you are building, that you actually get to enjoy them? What is that plan? That's a tough question and I want you to sit down today and answer them and write in the comments what your success plan is for me. And I want to ask you an even tougher question which is at the heart of that success plan beyond your well-being and that is what systems, software processes, what sales funnels, what do you have in your business? If you had to leave for a couple of weeks, a month, three months, what would your business look like? Well, if you cannot answer that question for me, or even if you can answer that question, I have something for you right there, a link below I want you to check out. It is a masterclass that I ran and it is all about helping you build a lucrative lifestyle business. I share with you the exact steps that I have taken in my business to bring me to where I am and the lucrative lady, my brand, where we are right now. And this is what my entire community, this is what we use and what we go by. So if you have enjoyed this, make sure you grab that, make sure you share this, tag people here, and of course, leave me any comments and answer those critical questions. And of course, if you are watching this on YouTube, then I want you to subscribe to this channel and make sure you come back and check me out again. And of course, don't forget to check me out on my website. There are several links for you to have a look at right there in the description. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a fabulous, 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 lucrative year, the most lucrative year that you have ever had this year and I look forward to being a part of that journey. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.